In today's Madden 21 breakdown, I'm going to be breaking down a little pistol mini scheme, uh, mini guide from the Arizona Cardinals offensive uh, playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, maybe you've never been to one of my videos before, I just want to let you know that what I do here is I cover uh, Madden 21 tips and tricks. We break down different tactics, different money schemes, different tips that can help you take your Madden game to the next level. And so if you're looking to improve your Madden game, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And I would also ask that you consider joining our community Discord. Discord is a great place to be able to connect with other Madden players, talk Madden 24-7. It's an app that you can get on your tablet or your smartphone. Um, and it's just a really, really awesome opportunity you have to be able to just kind of get more access, more access to me, more access to my community, more access to um, getting the questions that you might have about Madden answered. So you can click that link in the description and join that Discord. All right, guys. Um, the next thing I wanted to do was I wanted to talk about this pistol formation. Now, um, I've been just kind of playing around with this. I know my man Hoodie was running some pistol early on in the year. Um, and so I wanted to kind of pick his brain a little bit. But basically what I want to do, uh, first and foremost, is I want to break down just some concepts that you can use from pistol. Um, these are universal. This is going to help you against guys, especially if someone comes out and they're running a lot of dime or nickel formations against you. And you want to be able to run the ball. You want to be able to audible down into your pistol stuff and run it. Um, this will help you against that. Uh, again, I run spread air raid. I spend most of my time in the five wide or the four wide, um, or not the four wide, but um, the five wide empty or the uh, gun spread. But every now and then, you know, I think it's actually kind of cool to audible down to some of these pistol sets. I think there's actually some good stuff in here this year. So I wanted to actually go through these with you. And if you've gotten our Arizona Cardinals offensive ebook, um, I don't think I did a lot out of the pistol uh, in the guide, so this will serve as kind of a little bit of an add-on to the guide and also something that you can just kind of tinker around with. Now, here's the deal with this. I actually have very rarely ran uh, these pistol formations, so what I want to do is kind of share with you a little live lab session, talk you through what I'm seeing, why I pick certain plays, what you could learn and take away from this, and how you would then use things and incorporate these into the overarching uh, scheme from the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Now, really quick, one last time, I want to say, if you have not gotten the ebook on the Arizona Cardinals offense and the 46 defense, the link to pick that up is in the description of this video. That ebook has over 125 pages. One of the guys that picked it up told me today that he won over $200 in money uh, in money games with the ebook. Another guy won his franchise mode recently with the ebook, and another guy actually got into the top 100 with this scheme so um, this scheme i know it works and i know it's effective and so if you haven't already picked it up i'd highly encourage you to do that we've taken people that um have never passed the ball in their life all they do is they run the ball and we've turned them into 300 400 yard passers with this very simple and easy to understand scheme that is also very in-depth and it kind of is one of those things where how deep do you want to go into the weeds on it so um Anyway, let's just jump right in. So, so the first formations that we're going to look at is the three running back, uh, three three wide receiver, one running back, one tight end, because these are the formations I'm going to use the most frequently, and that's the pistol Y off trips and the doubles Y off. So we're going to start with pistol Y trips, and uh, I got some audibles in here. I got the stretch alert looky. I got a Y lead read option, the counter alert smoke, and the PA boot slide. So I'm just going to kind of test out some other plays in here. Uh, we're going to try out Strong Flood. I think Strong Flood's kind of a really nice little concept this year. Uh, works pretty effectively. Let's take a look at this out route. As you can see here, the out route is going to beat man-to-man -man coverage. It's going to beat man to the outside pretty much every single time. Um, out routes from the slot this year are seriously one of the most effective routes in the game. And so you see here, you're in this nice little gun trips. So you could run something like that. And you're, it's a very simple concept, but it's very, very effective. And you still have, on the backside, you have this nice little backside dig. And what you'll find with this backside dig is this should beat man-to-man -man fairly easy, right to the inside, right there on that little cut. Yep, it beats it, and you're gonna be able to you're gonna be able to cook man-to-man. -man. Now against zone coverage, what you're gonna have more than likely within this is you're gonna have a basic flood concept. What I like about this is um, tight end flat routes. I think are really really good. If they're not playing hard flats, just click on uh, rat catch it upfield, and you're gonna get about three to five um, to maybe sometimes seven to eight to nine ten yards uh, against a cover three defense. Now let me show you what's going to happen. Let's say that they're playing hard flats. So what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to low ball and uh, secure catch that route to Shepard on that ball. 
The next thing I want to show you uh, from this right here, so I've got a nice little flood concept on that back side. Now what I want to do is I want to show you what this could look like um, if they Mabel coverage, right? Can I hit the question that I'm asking is can I hit the out route against Mabel coverage? Because to me that's a key um, a key ability. And you see there I can't. I can't really hit it. But if they zone drop, I think the window is still there to be able to hit that. On the back side of the play, um, like I said, you got this dig route. Now the question is, what do you do with the running back? Do you just leave him on the little shoot route? Do you put him on an option route? I actually really like option routes, but what I would really prefer is that his option route go to the left side. Now one thing I actually really have kind of tinkered with a little bit is motioning the running back out from a pistol set, you see that he's gonna kind of come into a wide receiver position, and then he can kind of run a little five wide empty from pistol, um, you know, kind of mix that in a little bit. And you see that dig route is solid. You're gonna have that dig route to be able to go to and to be able to count on in this little uh, in this little progression here. The other thing is, let's say they run cover two. One of the things I wanna check is I wanna make sure that this fade route on the right side, if they're in a cover two defense, I wanna make sure that I can hit this route uh, against that cover two. And right there, I wasn't able to do that. Now again, one of the general rules of the trips is that you want to run the you want to run trips to your wide side of the field. So we're going to shoot over here to the left hash, just to give us a little bit of more spacing um, for from this trips formation. So if we were on the right hash in a game, we would just flip this play. Now I want to look at that route on that outside, and what you'll see here is he's going to be able to beat it. So the cover two is really in this year's game, in my opinion, it's best ran on the short side of the field because what you'll see right here is if I run Devontae Adams on the same route. Whoops, I'm sorry, I was in man-to-man -man coverage. We'll just take our little out route. I'll tell you what, that out route's pretty consistent, which is really, really good um, to have that. The next thing I want to show you, though, is if you look on this left side, if I run a cover two meter on the left here to the short side, you see you can still fit it in, but it's a little bit tighter of a throw. So just kind of an FYI for you to know. Um, so that's that's the flood play. Uh, I think there's more that you could do with this as well. I mean, you could motion Shepard over. There's really no reason to do that. But you certainly can. Like if you had a route chemistry, you could run something like this. Um, you know, essentially turn this into shallow cross. You know, effectively this is what you would do. Uh, what you'll notice here is your running back is always going to go to the um, the wide side of the field when he runs his route. So if you put him on option, he's going to go to the right. Put him on a swing route, he's going to go to the right. And if you put him on a check and release, he's going to go to the right. In the neutral situations, that's what he's going to do. So this right here is a nice little uh, shallow cross concept that you could basically create. Uh, from your hot routes and the beauty of it is shepherd is on that that stock dig that's a little bit deeper um than most routes so that's strong flood honestly i mean there's not a ton more to it the only thing that i would say that i would like to see from this is something like this combination right here this combination is not too bad i think this combination can actually get the job done against a lot of the popular defenses um, and as you can see here that dig route is very consistent which is nice so you have you have some really consistent reads uh from this Next thing you could do from this um, is you could actually turn this into kind of a universal beater from trips, right? You could take your tight end on the outside, put him or uh, put the tight end on a curl. You can put that slot on a little hitch. You got that smoke screen right there. And then on the backside, you know, you could basically turn that into curl flat or whatever you want to do. Um, and you could throw that ball too as well. It's very simple reads against that coverage. So that's a little bit about the, the, the trips from a passing perspective. Now, if we go to PA boot slide, you notice that Shepard's on this little angle route. So if I motion Shepard to the left, the question is, does he stay on that little route? He does. And now let's see, does he beat man? He does beat man. Okay. So that's a, something interesting to note. So as you're going through this, these are things that you're looking at. And one of the biggest things that I'm looking for is what routes in the field are going to do really, really well against man-to-man -man coverage. So another thing that I'm going to look at right here is, does he get, is he stock unbumpable? You see here he's not. But you notice that Marquez Vettis Scantling's route does a really, really good job at getting separation against the man-to-man uh, coverage within this formation so now the question is maybe you pop over to like a cover three or something and you see okay well if they have a deep inside third how's it gonna how's it gonna shape up against that and you notice here that this route is gonna torch it beats that uh beats that coverage really really well to the inside another thing that you're gonna see on this is so then the question becomes like how do you best utilize this play right here right do you just run it stock and do you just basically say okay i'm the third man i'm gonna do that well the problem if you do something like that is this is going to really take, um, in my opinion, what that's going to do, a decision like that, you know, what, what's going to happen is you're, uh, you're going to be able to be usered on this. So what I like to do is say, okay, well, what are some other things that I could do? Well, I could run mesh from this. I could basically take Devontae Adams, put him on a drag, 
and I can take my back and swing him to the left side of the screen. And you'll notice that this is actually going to create a nice little mesh concept right over the middle of the field um, for these crossers to be able to come underneath. And then I can have that deep uh, vertical route over the top of that uh, of that coverage. So this actually creates, for me, um, a really nice little uh, route combination that you can utilize from PA boot slide against zone coverage because you're, you're, you've got that nice little over route that's going to get really uh, some good separation against zone, and then you've got your drags underneath to take the crossing routes and the simple reads. All right, another thing that you can do from this um, is you can use motion, right? So I can take Shepard, and I can put him on a slant route, and then I can take uh, Adams, and I can put him on a, on a, um, a little curl route, maybe take the back and swing him to the right side of the field this time. And you'll see this combination right here, basically it's just curl flats with a slant over the middle of the field, uh, but you got that nice deep post route. So they're going to have to choose between the routes they're going to want to take uh, take take care of. Does that make sense? Um, but yeah, that's PA boot slide. I mean, I I another thing you can check, and this is always something you want to check, how does this route work when you motion him over? Does he get separation against man? We'll take a look here. He does not. Does not get separation against man. So now, you know, you know that that's kind of out of the out of the, um, the equation. Now, let's take a real quick peek at cover four and just take a look here at this route that Marquez Valdez is getting against cover four. How does that play? And you notice that that route's kind of interesting against cover four. As you saw, the, the route really, it's, a, it's what's called an over route. At least that's what I call it. It goes over the defense, right? Nothing too crazy with that, but that language or terminology. But I could maybe, you know, kind of see what if I put, Adams on a dig and then I can take a look at this cover four and because you're in practice mode make sure that you're spying your lineman so that you can look at your routes what you'll notice is this is cover four and I'm just going to see if this gets over the cover four and you see there he stops so it's just not really a clean look it does kind of get over the cover four but he kind of stops in the middle of the field so not a great look uh, against that coverage and then real quick one last little check here to make sure that post route is what I think it is and we're just going to check and see how this does against cover two and what you'll see is against the cover two defense, you can pass lead this up, click on, and you're going to have a pretty nice little game. So that's a little bit about trips, a little bit about this formation uh, as far as from those two plays, flood and um, and PA, uh, PA boot slide. Again, what I want to stress and really um, just make super, super clear is this is just the starting point. For example, what if I did something like this, right? If I go to flood, and I have my flood concept on the left side, and then maybe I just motion about a scantling over to the right, just so I have a middle streak to kind of pull the zones. And you'll see right here this little fade to the inside does a pretty good job against press man if they run a press man, and then you can obviously hit Devontae Adams. So uh, that's a little bit about that formation. Uh, the next thing I wanted to do was show you the runs in this. So it's always important to look at the run plays. Uh, first and foremost, the stretch alert looky. Uh, you'll notice here, this is just stretch. Now, what you'll notice about these plays, and this is what I'm going to talk about pistol a little bit. This is why pistol kind of fascinates me a little bit. I find that these runs, the defense kind of freezes. Like the defense kind of freezes. Now, obviously, they're going to shoot the gap, right? They're going to, you're going to see that a lot. But what I want to watch, watch this route combination. This is stretch alert looky. Watch Devontae Adams. If he gets an inside release, just throw the slant. If they're in man coverage, if he gets an inside release, just throw a slant. Now, most of the time, what people are going to do is they're going to pass him. Now, that's going to change how the backs, um, how, how everything gets open. But as you can see right here, if he's in man coverage, you can't run man coverage against this play. And because you can't run man coverage against this play, what this is going to then lead me to do is things like um, run, you know, really anything to Devontae Adams. Probably a post route, honestly. If I have a if I have a route chemistry out there, I can run a post. But this is going to lead me to do stuff like this right here. Because against every zone coverage in the game, you're going to be able to beat it. You're still going to be able to beat man, but you're going to be really good against zone. So those are some things to kind of think about. Um, but um, but that's the stretch. Uh, and you can't you, the one issue with these alerts, you can't playmaker anybody. So you're just running. Actually, oh wait, did I just playmaker the stretch to the left? I think we just found something on National Live Internet. It's crazy. Watch this. I'm going to playmaker this to the left. Look at that. Slant out on the right. Alert. That's crazy. We just found something. That's crazy. So watch this right here. Watch this play. So I'm going to run stretch alert looky. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to playmaker it to the left. You see there that it changes? Look at that as Scantling's route. Now watch what I could do here. I could motion him to the right. He's going to be on a slant, right? So watch this. Watch his route. If I see there a man, I could just throw that right there. And I got blockers downfield. Right? That's crazy. 
Another thing you could do is you could motion him back out, right? If I was worried about press man, which let me just let me just kind of try to you see here on this outside, see how he doesn't really um the one issue with it is you notice if you notice on this play, um, watch about his scantling, you see that his icon won't come up. He's just blocking. But what's let's take a look at what's going on with Devontae Adams and just make sure this is what labbing is, guys. You're just trying things out, you're testing things, seeing how things play. Let's watch Devontae Adams on this. See how I can throw that? That turns him onto a streak. We just found something with these little with these little stretch lookies from Pistol. So if I flip the play and run it to the left, Devontae Adams is now on a streak. And a lot of times what you'll find is the the defense, depending on who's in the run pit. Like, for example, if it's cover two, this is going to be Tampa two, right? This left side corner is going to be in the run pit. Watch what happens here on this play. Whoops, did I flip it to the left? I might have flipped it to the left. I don't know if I did or not. But what you'll notice is – um, that's just some, that's, that's interesting. That's some stuff, you know, you, you, you got to lab that a little bit more, but, um, like let's see here against zone. He's just, he's still on a slant. So you could, what's nice about this run, which is actually unique. Um, I don't know of many runs you can do this with from an RPO perspective, but you can play maker this run left and right. And it will give you opportunity to create new routes for your offense. For example, if you use motion, like let me watch this here. So I could take uh, Vadis Scantling to the right, to the left here, and I just want you to snap the ball. I want to show you what's going to happen. See how he's just blocking; his icon doesn't do anything. But when you flip the, not flip the play, when you playmaker the play, okay, that's a key difference. When you playmaker the play, what you're going to notice here is Vadis Scantling is going to come in motion here, right there. Now watch what's going to happen here. Let's see. Let me just try to motion him back to the right. Now he changes once again. Now he's on the proper slant. And now you're running a backside slant on that play. So that's kind of interesting. Kind of fascinating, right? I think it is. Um, yeah, there's a lot a lot that can happen. Once you motion basically that route, uh, let's try off coverage, like a cover cover three here. And just see if the press is an issue on that outside here. Yeah, we can't throw it. Okay. But there's some stuff with that. I mean, you could do some stuff off of that, I think. Another thing you want to try is just like randomly hot routing people, um, smart routing people, you know, just kind of seeing if anything, anything crazy, um, anything crazy happens. So um, now the run itself, I think it's okay. Um, I don't know if it's great. Uh, I think that pistol runs, this is just my opinion. I think pistol runs are kind of hard to shoot um, because you're deeper. You're, 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 I don't know if your back is technically deeper, but it's a deeper handoff. So, I think he actually is technically deeper. He might not be, but I, I think he is. So we're going to say he is. Um, but what you'll notice is you get pretty good. I think you get pretty good blocking out of this. Um, and you could obviously with a different motion. Uh, what this is going to force them to do is it's going to force them to pass commit. Um, obviously, you know, this, this whole formation is going to kind of force them to pass commit. And so what that's going to mean for your offense is when you go to the stretch run, they got to pass commit on it. Uh, and really, they kind of have to play zone. If they play man, you could just take that that slant over and over and over again. Especially if you could get that slant unbumpable. That's why this motion right here is so critical. Because I can get this guy over here. Kind of snap right in here. You know, and just kind of clear the... Or I'm sorry, I forgot to flip the play. Or play make the play to the left. But there's some things you could do with that. Um, next play is why why lead read option. So why would you run this to the right versus the left? You know, I don't know exactly the answer, but if you playmaker the run to the left, it's going to flip it to the right. If you playmaker it to the right, it's going to flip it to the left. Okay, so that's another little, um, you know, just a little option that you could use here. We'll try some motion with these runs. Just kind of see how this works. This should kill Dime 146 to me. Yeah, if they're running Dime 146, you're going to kill them with this run. So, you know, you know, you can run that fairly consistently against that dime one for six. The other thing you could do on this, like let's say I flip it to the to the left here and run it to the trip side. When you run it to the trip side, you'll notice that you get um I think you'll get a lot more um I don't know, let's try let's try some stuff here out of this. So we're gonna option the running back on this. So we're gonna flip it, we're gonna run it to the trip side. So watch this corner. So he's gonna crash down like that and he's gonna kind of stop everything. That's why, in my opinion, um, just kind of understand, you know, when you run this, where you're running it to. Like, if you run it to the trip side, um, there's nothing wrong with that. You just got to be kind of careful. I'm telling you right now, when you run it, to, when you run that to the trip side, you're going to be handing the ball off a lot. 
Um, but when you put this defender in a conflict, this left side guy in a conflict, and you can even do something as simple as motioning over the slot. Just by motioning over the slot, yeah, the defender's going to go with him and all that stuff, but you're going to get a little bit better blocking on this play. So that's read option. And why I like that so much is it's hard to shoot that run. It's hard to it's hard to shoot that run. Um, right there, we got a, they got a, bl a block shed, but you know typically I think you're going to be fine. Uh, the next run I wanted to show you was counter alert smoke. Uh, and so we're going to try some of the same theories that we tried with the stretch. So what we're going to do is we're going to playmaker this run. And you see here we can do the same thing. Um, now let's just motion. Let's see if we can't motion. Uh, we can't motion that smoke screen, but let's see if it happens here. Um, and the smoke screen is always going to go to Devontae Adams, as you can see here. But you can flip the run right and left. Um, I don't know if that's something new because you didn't used to be able to flip these things. Um, but counter alert smoke, if you'll watch here, if we run it to the right to left. The thing about the counter runs that I really like is they're hard to shoot because the pulling guards are going to kind of catch the uh, catch the opponent. So you could run this. Um, you could actually run this fairly effectively. Now, if they're playing, again, uh, one thing that I like about the trips formation specifically, if you watch Devontae Adams on this play, um, you see how this guy kind of sits on it, sits on the ball. See that right there? So if I were to go to um, counter alert smoke, um, I want to try something. This is a little theory I have, but I'm going to motion this tight into the left, and let's just see how this ha handles with uh, with Devontae Adams. You guys stay out there? Okay. So nothing really, nothing really wild back there happens. One last thing we'll try. Counter alert smoke. We're going to motion to Gladys Scantling to the left. Now, most of the time out of RPOs, he'll become a um, – but you see how he gets that block out there? So if they're maybe base aligning or sending pressure, you could that could actually work. But it uh, doesn't look like too much too much glitchy stuff's going to happen from this. Um, if I motion this guy to the left, let's just try this out. This is um, interesting how that nose tackle just comes right down the middle. But, um, yeah, counter alert smoke, it's it's – what I like, what I like in counter alert smoke to be, it's a constraint theory run. Like once they're over pursuing to stop certain runs, try that out. You know, it's it's okay. It's it's not going to do anything crazy. You're not. I, I haven't broken a touchdown on this thing, but I have been fairly consistent. Again, if you playmaker to the left, that's going to flip it and run it to the right. Um, as you can see there, I don't know why that nose tackle is coming through every play, but um, let's try a let's try a D unit. Nope, he still came through. That's crazy. It's interesting how the blocking works on that when you flip it. So I'd probably keep it. Eh, I mean, I don't know. You flip it. You do what you want. But that's 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 uh, some of the runs from trips. Um, now what I want to do is I want to jump over. I want to check out any more plays from trips that I want to check out. Let's see here. Uh, we'll check out that fake screen wheel. We'll check out um, curls. We'll check out four verticals just to see the depths of the routes. And then we'll check out the um, the dive alert smoke. And we'll come out in the play inside zone split. Okay. So we're going to come back out and see how we do here. All right. So dive, uh, this is inside zone split. Let's just see how this run kind of works. It looks like to me there's going to be a cutback lane to the left side. So... If effectively, what you're looking to do here is kind of let your tight end lead you, right? And you're wanting to go to the left. The one issue I have with inside zone splits is I feel like the computer can almost stop these runs. Um, as far as playmaking it goes, you can't actually playmaker. This is the one run in the formation that you can't playmaker, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. But the double juke right in the backfield will help that run a little bit. So that's inside zone split. There's really nothing... Um. Yeah, there's really nothing, really nothing too crazy there with that. Uh, dive alert smoke. Uh, so now this is interesting. So now you have a screen where they have blocking to the right. Um, that's actually something that is worth uh, looking at here, um, and seeing how this plays. So what you notice here is the man coverage kind of boxes it on the on the right side. But what I want to show you is watch what's going to happen here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to motion Shepard to the right, and I just want to see if that changes anything. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't from different formations. But we'll just check. Okay, it doesn't change anything. He's able to stop me. That's fine. So man coverage stops it. All right. Now the question is, what about Tampa 2? What about Tampa 2? How does Tampa 2 play against this? This is non, not pass committed, not nothing. Just Tampa 2. 
Look at that right there. Oh, look, it beats zone, right? So these are things, this is what labbing is. I mean, you're just trying things out. You're testing some of the basic concepts that people are going to, you know people are going to run on you. Um, let's try how Cover 3 Sky tests it out. And we'll shake cover down because that's, that's something they might do to try to stop this, right? And, of course, accidentally hand it off. Um, but that smoke screen, that smoke screen, I think that smoke screen could actually be good. Uh, and this is how you find stuff. I mean, literally, you go through and you basically try to stop yourself, essentially, on defense. What adjustments are they going to do to try to stop it? And is it going to stop it or is it not? And as you can see there, shading underneath, hard flats, stops it on the left side. So now there's another thing that you can try out of this. Um, whoops, I'm sorry. I'm in the wrong uh, in the wrong play. Let me go with dive alert. Uh, and now what I'm going to try to do is flip the play. I want to flip it to the left side. I want to get that right side receiver on it. And that's how – and you see here I'm able to do it by flipping the – Playmaking the play to the right, I'm able to get this this um, this this uh, route that I want. So unfortunately, the only thing is, uh, which this play could be so good if you could get this screen to the left side, uh, in my opinion, because what you could do is you could motion this guy over, and um, this could be pretty good, but unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do that. So uh, now what I want to do is I want to show you this play flip just because um, sometimes plays work a little bit differently when they're flipped. Um, so we're going to go to that play and then we're just going to flip it so it comes to this side of the field. Okay, now what we're going to do on this is we are going to just watch the corner on the left side and you'll notice that he stands out there and he's solid and, you know, this is good defense. It's fine. Um, if you hang with me, I'm sure we're going to be able to find something here in just a second. So, uh, so I'm going to flip it again, but this time I'm going to do what I talked about with, I'm going to take the shepherd and I'm going to motion him to the right. Okay. So it's going to create kind of a gun doubles uh, or pistol doubles look, right? He's going to motion to the right. And what you'll notice here is, okay, well, the corner stays out there. So this play is not going to work. That's fine. So now what we're going to do, we're going to do one last little trick to try to get this to work. And we're going to basically, um, we're just going to play maker the run to the left side. You see here, it shows that Valdez scaling's on the screen, but in all reality, Devontae Adams is on the screen. He should go on a screen right here once I snap the ball. Let's see. And he does, and the guy stays out there. Okay, so it doesn't work. No problem. It works against zone. doesn't really work that great against man. Um, so that's fine. Um, so that's dive alert smoke. What about the actual run? Uh, let's check out the actual run here. My theory is you could actually double juke this all the way out to the right. And unfortunately, you can't. Dang it, that sucks. I thought that would work. Um, that's okay. So with dive alert smoke, again, I would playmaker the run to the right. You see how that tight end is going to kind of serve as a – what that tight end is going to do, and this is actually really interesting, what that tight end is going to do, let's say you're like in the third and two situation or something like that. The tight end, when you play make the run to the right, the tight end's coming underneath. You see that right there? See how he comes right down in that lane? He's going to be your lead blocker. You just follow your tight end. That's a good way to run this play, in my opinion. Um, as far as running it to the left, um, you're just running straight. That's pretty much it. I mean, there's nothing There's nothing too complicated. Um, the thing about the dive that I like is that it's you can cut it back. So, like, one of the things that you could do is you could get your Le'Veon Bell on and just basically stop in the backfield and then go either way that you want to go. Now, sometimes it's going to work. Sometimes it's going to end up like I just, you know, what just happened to me. But but overall, I think this is kind of a, it's kind of a unique little run here. Um, I think it gets pretty good blocking, especially against those dime sets, nickel sets. Uh, again, we're running this primarily against nickel. Or I'm sorry, against dime. So that is the pistol trips, and I forgot to go over the passing play, so we'll go through that real quick. Um, the last couple passing plays that we have in this formation are fake screen wheel and curl. So first thing I want to look at is curls. If you look at this curl to Shepard, what I want to know is, does this beat press man? Okay, so he cuts inside, throw inside, and you see there it beats press man. Awesome. So you got a press man beater. Um, now what I like to look at here is watch this route to the back here. Can I snap throw this? Right? Can I snap throw this? That's another thing I want to ask. So can I can I throw the ball quick to him? Can I get it out and get it quick to him? Right there on that cut, you see he gets his light up because he's got backfield master. And you see that beats man-to-man -man coverage very easily. So he got a nice little read. Next thing I'm going to ask myself is, does this curl on the left? Does it beat press man-to-man -man coverage? Can it beat that press man-to-man -man coverage? Pass the down inside, and you see it does. So this is a play that I actually really like. Um, 
yeah, I mean, this is this is a good little play. One thing that I would do, honestly, is I would just take Valdez Scantling, put him on a slant, and motion left. Reason why is this is going to just kind of create a nice little underneath, um, kind of just West Coast style passing. You see here, if he doesn't get bumped, he, Shepard's going to beat man by even more. So everything beats man in that. So that's that's a pretty solid little play. Um, as far as the tight end, I would just leave him on the shoot route. Um, I don't see any problem with that. This backside guy is on a standard curl, nothing too fancy. Um, that's why I would just motion him over on a slant, um, you know, occasionally. You could leave him on the curl if you want. Four verticals. Um, this route to the tight end goes deeper than I thought it would. So what we're going to do is we're just going to try to beat cover three from four verticals. We're going to put the out on the left side and just see how this does. This is just standard cover three. Watch the tight end. And he doesn't get deep on actual... That's unfortunate because if he was able to beat cover three from this, this would actually be really good. I don't think he won't he won't be able to beat cover four. Pretty much our only hope is that we can get this to beat cover three. I'll try this one more time. Pass lead him up. Yeah, see how see how that corner jumps back on the ball. That's gonna be an issue. So four verticals is looking like kind of no, a no on the offensive side. Um, one of the other issues with it that I find, let's say they run cover three. Um, what you'll see is R1 should go on a streak, but you see he goes on a post. That's kind of an issue for me. If he were to go on a streak, that would really, you know, kind of space everything out really nicely. Uh, cover four drop. Let's just see how this plays it. Um, let's see how these vertical routes run. That crosser does get over the – oh, it doesn't. That crossing route does get over the purple, so it might not be a one play against um, cover three or cover four. But let's just try this and see, you know, if we if we clear out that deep third, let's see how this does against just a standard purple zone. See how it gets way over the top of that? That's actually kind of good. And I think um, what I want to do now is I want to check. Um, I just want to check all the coverages first to make sure it gets base basically over all that, and then if it does. Then what I'll do is I'll check into like a zone drop look with a uh, shaded, uh, maybe at 20 yards. But see here, here's a cloud flat. All I'm going to do is pass lead him up. And unfortunately, Jason Roy is able to get it. So that's not going to matter. Cloud flats basically beat it. If they're in, um, if they're in cover four, um, this should be able to stop it. Something like this right here. You see he just runs him off, goes back. I kind of guess that's... I think there's some potential there. The problem is like Tampa 2. Tampa 2 boxed us pretty easily. But we'll keep testing this thing. So again, we're just going to pass through this up right there. And he does beat it. Okay. He does beat it. But what I like about it is I think you can. No, you can't. Okay. I really like the route to the back uh, out of this. You'll see he's going to just kind of come on this little in route right here. Um, just simple, but very effective in my opinion. So what we'll do next is we'll just try like a cover, random cover. Let's try cover six. Just see how that does against this cross. And you're able to get that cross. Okay, so it beats pretty much every coverage in the game. If you have good route running, that's going to beat man-to-man. So the only thing I would say that you would want, I would put Valdez on a backside comeback. See here against Man, right on that cut, he's going to get inside leverage. If that's Robert Tonyan, um, that's going to be good. So let's try zone drops. And this is just the process, guys. This is literally, you know, this is how I come up with everything that I come up with. Um, obviously, there's sometimes a little bit more detail. Uh, that goes into it, but this is basically the process. I mean, you're going to walk away with a pretty good little pistol trips, uh, little pistol trips uh, scheme. All right, flats at thirty. We'll just put, we'll just put both of them at thirty and just see how this plays. It it might stop it, it might not. And we're coming out in man. All right, we'll put Robert Tony in there. Uh, my theory is if you drop those clouds back to thirty. This should play it. Let's see. Yep, he goes right in the spot and he plays it. So 30 does play it. Let's check out the purple zone. So we'll go to cover three and just check out these purples. Let's see if that plays it. 30 yard. 
Yeah, he does. He plays it. He plays it. He plays it. Okay. So now the question is this one. You just kind of keep tinkering with stuff and understanding things. Um, now my question is most commonly people are going to put these at 25. So we're just going to test um, this 20 to 25 uh, yard zones. Does that stop it? Right? Because what a lot of people are going to do is they're going to put their safeties in purples and basically lock up the crossing route. So pistol trips, wild trips, and uh, the play we're using is four verticals. So we're going to go to cover three first, check out if the purple stuff this or not. And you'll notice right here, I can pass this right over the purple zone. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's something that's worth taking note of from this. Um, let's check the cloud flat real quick. Let's deep cross. And uh, it does get over the cloud. So that's interesting. That four verticals is you know, kind of good for you. So that's four verticals. Um, wide screen wheel. Uh, pretty much this play is just not effective this year, in my opinion. So I wouldn't run that. I mean, it's if you know they're in zone, like if you know they're in zone, then what you could do is do something like this. You could streak out a scantling, flat tongue in. Um, and then I would just, uh, I would just slant, um, I would just slant Devontae Adams. So it would be, it would basically be something like this right here. This is what you would look like. But the problem is like, man, coverage is going to put that in a box. The only thing you're really going to have is a slant. So, but that's pistol trips. Um, pistols trips. I want, I, I we went so in depth on this one. We're just going to. We're gonna deal with this one here, um, but this is how you this is how you kind of create a scheme. I thought this would be kind of fun. Um, basically, what we walk away with is, you know, I love what we're seeing from this play curls. You know, I can go to that in key situations. I could go to four verticals if I if I know they're in zone coverage. I could run, um, you know, I could run something like this right here. What I could see myself doing is something like this. I could take that little smoke screen and I have a high low lead, read on the left side. You know, something simple uh, like that. But um, but yeah, uh, this, this formation is pretty good. And this is what we do every week at our text message membership. We break down full schemes for you. The, we do all the lab work for you throughout the week. We give you all the setups, everything you need to be effective. And so it, and, and all the reads and progressions and all that stuff. So if you want to sign up for our text message membership, it's completely free. My number is 812-216-3644. You can also find it in the description. It's also in the top left corner. One of the guys on the live stream last night asked if that was my phone number. It is my cell phone number. It's my personal phone. So just shoot me a text anytime we can talk Madden. Uh, let me know what's up. But also, once you shoot me a text message, I'll be able to shoot you um, a private playlist that has um, two hours, of, almost two hours of content on the Big Nickel Over G defense, over one hour of content on the Gun Bunch offense. Um, I think we did uh, about an hour of content on the split close, and we also did uh, the Minnesota Vikings single back trio, and we did the Gun Cluster from the Air Raid. So. If you're interested in getting that material, all you got to do is just shoot me a text message, and we'll have ours out for this week uh, shortly. Uh, one of the things I did also want to say, guys, is if you think this pistol scheme is okay, average, whatever, the I promise you this the full ebook on the Arizona Cardinals playbook is absolutely insane. I cannot tell you how many messages I have had of success after success after success with people being able to take these principles that we give them in the ebook and the actual setups and the guide and being able to apply them in their own gameplay, put their own twist on it, right? Put their own twist on it, but really take their offense to a whole nother new level. So I'd highly encourage you if you haven't, if you have never bought an ebook, maybe you're considering buying one for Christmas or whatever, I would encourage you to pick up this ebook. This ebook is the only ebook that you need to dominate in Madden 21. It's a full ebook, over 125 pages, goes through everything that you need to pass and some really solid runs when you need to run the ball. And it also goes through um, everything that I do on the defensive side of the ball as well. So uh, it's a full, full guide. And uh, so far, it's been working really well for a lot of people. So I want to thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you like these longer type of videos where I can go a little bit more in depth on things. Um, but other than that, guys, we'll see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock. Our next YouTube video will go live at 6 Eastern, and then we'll have another one that goes and go, is going to go live at 8. 
Um, so those are going to be tip videos, and then we'll have a 10 o'clock p.m. live stream for you guys uh, where you can ask questions and we can just talk mad. And so thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed uh, the video, and we'll see you on stream tonight on our YouTube channel.